Good morning and welcome to the first week of our kids stream here at West Suffolk Vineyard Church. We are so excited to be able to launch this morning this new way of connecting with you and being together each Sunday morning. So each week from 9.50 a.m. you'll be able to join us on the live chat just as many of you have done this morning and that is a great chance just to see who else is hanging out, say hi to your friends and your kids own leaders, maybe meet some new friends and then from 10 o'clock we'll be kicking off with the live stream and each week we're going to have stories, crafts and activities, worship and creative ways to do prayer as we do this together as a family and there'll be also be plenty of ways to get involved from your own home which we can't wait to tell you about but how are you doing it's been a while since we've all been together hasn't it how are things looking for you in your home well for me i've got my cup of tea here this morning i'm really enjoying that and as always, on a Sunday morning, we always make sure that we've got some treats in for church. So this morning we have got, oh, I've got jammy dodgers. Unfortunately, they're mini, but we have jammy dodgers. I'm really looking forward to enjoying them in a bit. So how have your Sunday mornings been? Maybe you've been enjoying them with your mom or your dad. Maybe you've had brothers and sisters around, maybe grandparents, or maybe you've even got a friend over to join you for church this morning. Well, who have I got? Who's in my crew? I've got my three kids, but who else has been joining us? Well, Peppa Pig has been joining us regularly on a Sunday morning. She has been loving church. And then also, like I say, I've got three kids. They're pretty noisy. So also joining us, we have had Lego Batman. He has just been bringing a bit of calm and a bit of order to the house. Someone needs to. And then also joining us and intimidating me a bit, I must admit, has been Darth Vader very serious but you know at church everyone is welcome aren't they and so Darth Vader is really welcome this morning to join in church with us. So that's what my house has been looking like but how about you what's been going on in your house? We wondered if it would be really fun and if you were up for it if you would send us your Sunday selfies send us a snapshot of what life has been looking like for you on a Sunday morning. Maybe you've been doing church in your pyjamas every week. We've never been able to do that, have we? Or maybe you've been trying to recreate a little bit of Northern Way by getting the donuts in on a Sunday morning and just enjoying those together. But whatever your Sunday morning looks like, take a selfie of you and your family and send it in to the email address at the bottom of the screen, kids at wsvc.me. And we would love to be able to see your photos and maybe try and use them on a Sunday morning as part of our stream. We just think it would be so fun to be able to connect with each other in that way um, and just to be able to see what each other's been up to. That would be great. Well, each week, as I say, we're going to have some stories. And this week, we are celebrating, aren't we? But we're also meeting Jesus at a party. So let's join him and see what he's up to. Stories of the Bible. Jesus turns water into wine. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God oh, I see. and man. One day, Jesus, his disciples, and his mother went to a wedding in Cana. In the middle of the party, the wine ran out. Uh oh. So Jesus' mother, Mary, told him, they have no more wine. Aww. Jesus replied, Dear woman, that's not our problem. My time has not yet come. Excuse me. But Mary told the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Standing nearby were six stone water jars. The Jews used jars like these in their washing ceremony. Jesus told the servants, Fill the jars with water. Yeah, okay. When the jars had been filled, he said, Now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So the servants did what Jesus told them to. When the master of ceremonies tasted the water that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though of course the servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. A host always serves the best wine first. Then when everyone has had a lot to drink, 
he brings out the less expensive wine, but you have kept the best until now. This miraculous sign in Cana in Galilee was the first time Jesus revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. I love that story. It is absolutely one of my favorites. I just love how Jesus turns up at a party and he does the most unexpected thing. And really, he brings the party back to life, doesn't he? It's like if Jesus were to turn up at your house this morning and ask for a glass of water, and then what he handed back to you was a chocolate milkshake. That would be pretty incredible, wouldn't it? But you know, even more amazing than that, you know, Jesus can turn water into wine. He can turn water into a chocolate milkshake. But actually what he does is he takes our lives, which feel really ordinary, don't they? And he touches them and he turns those into something extraordinary. He takes our everyday lives, our being brothers and sisters, our being friends at school, us doing life with our family. And when we invite him in, to our lives and we ask him to walk through every day with us and show us how to live like him. He does the most extraordinary things and he can change us to be more like him. Now that's what we're gonna be looking at over the next few weeks. How do we learn to live more like Jesus? How can we look at Jesus and see how the best way to live is? And we're really looking forward to getting into that with you all. Now each week we're going to have crafts and activities and Chris has got a great one this morning that just helps us remember that. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the story. Uh, today we're going to do a quick craft and take an ordinary, ordinary piece of paper, pen and some scissors and we're going to create ourselves a little chain of people. So what we're going to do is take your piece of paper like that. We're going to take one end, fold it in, flip it over, fold it in again, and keep going until you've got something nice and thin like that. And then you can take your pen and you're going to draw a little person on it. Just make sure that your arms and legs are touching the sides or else your people will fall apart. And then ask a parent or an older sibling to help you cut around, cut around the lines. Once you're done, you'll have a little chain of people that you can decorate with the faces uh, and clothes of your friends or family. And there you go. That looks so fun, Chris. We cannot wait to give that a go this, this afternoon and, and maybe over the week. But send us in your people chains. What have you made them to look like? Maybe you've got some superheroes. Maybe you've recreated your family. Send pictures in to the email address at the bottom and we would love to use them on a Sunday morning. But that's such a great way to remember, isn't it? That we want our lives to look like Jesus. We love to worship together as well, don't we? And each week we're gonna be making time to do that. So we're gonna kick off with a brand new song this morning called We Shine. We really hope that you enjoy worshiping together this morning. Navigates the way back 
Wasn't that great? We really hope you had a great time worshipping together this morning. It's so great to be able to sing to Jesus and to just tell him how amazing we think he is and invite his presence into our homes, isn't it? If you want to listen to that song again this week, um, to just enjoy and have on at home, if you type We Shine Vineyard UK into YouTube, that will pop up and you can enjoy it again. Each week we're going to make time to pray together, to chat to God, to thank him, to ask him for the things that we care about and to ask him to touch the people around us. We're so looking forward to trying some different ways to do that over the next few weeks. But this morning, why don't you get comfortable, find a place to be still and quiet and take in some deep breaths in and out as you relax. And I'm just going to pray for us as we finish this morning. Father God, we love to worship you and do that with our voices and shout and dance, but we also love it when we get to be still and a bit quieter and we just get to wait to hear your voice. So Father, I just pray this morning, just as, as we do, that we would know your presence close to us. we would know your voice speaking over us. We thank you that you want to take our lives, which feels so ordinary, and you want to do something extraordinary with them. So God, we just invite you again this morning just to walk through the next week with us as we go to school. Maybe we're parents and we're going back to work tomorrow, but we just ask that you would be close to us. We invite you in again. And we just ask that you would show us how to be more like Jesus, that you would bless our weeks, bless our families. Amen. Amen. Well, we have had a great time being together this morning. We hope that you have too. And don't forget this week to send in your Sunday selfies. We can't wait to see them and all that you've been up to. Maybe you're a new family to West Suffolk Vineyard Church and maybe you've not even joined us in our building on a Sunday. It's been a little while now, but we'd love to connect with you. If that is you, do drop us an email at the email address below and one of our pastoral team would love to connect with you. But have a great week, have fun, and we look forward to seeing you next Sunday morning, 9.50 for the chat and from 10 o'clock from the live stream. Bye.